Okay boys and girls, now it's our turn to create our own Pablo Picasso Cubist Portrait. So you're going to put your paper in this direction which is called Portrait. If it goes in the other direction it's called Landscape. Now we're going to draw our face without any facial features. So how I do it, very simply I'm going to draw a U. Okay, now do you see where I put my U? Now it's basically about the size of my hand. And I'm going to draw two two lines coming down for the neck and shoulders just coming down like that very simple shape now if you want I can stop and we can actually do this together or we can watch and do this I'll do a few for you to see now if I wanted to have a round neck t-shirt I'm just going to curl it around like that and curl it like that and if I wanted to have a t-shirt like Pablo Picasso because he always wore stripy shirts I'm just going to curve it round now I'm going to think of my hairstyle that I want to do so with Pablo Picasso, I'm going to give you some ideas, some handouts, but you could come up with your own design. I'm going to do some curls, some spirals. I'm just going to enclose it all in like that. So I've done my curly hair. I'm going to give my portrait some ears. Now there's nothing going on in the center yet, but what I want us to do is to take our oil pastel, set it at the t just at the bottom of the hairline, and bring a line down, which is the forehead. Then I'm going to draw the nose. So I'm looking at the nose from profile, which means from the side. Bring it down a little bit. Now I'm going to do a curve and a curve for lips, and then a chin. And there, boys and girls, this side of the face is looking in this direction and this side of the face is looking at you. So now I'm ready to paint it. I want to show you a few more examples that I've done and I'll have these up on the board for you to see. I did this one here and when I got to the shoulders I did a v-neck and a collar. It's up to you how you want to do it. The same thing, this side of the face is looking this way, this side of the face is looking at you. And I've just done a curve of a hair with a little tiny ponytail and then this one a little bit more exciting with a zigzag hairstyle. Same concept, I'm doing the U, two vertical lines to the neck, a shoulder and a shoulder, then I'm deciding how I want to do, do my collar and shirt design and then I always start at the bottom of the hairline, come down for the forehead, the nose, pair of lips and a little curl for the chin. Now when you've got that drawn, you don't need your oil pastel anymore, put that away, we're going to then get some tempera paint and we're going to paint everything on the portrait with the exceptions of the background. Okay, and the reason why is that the background is going to be a coloured sheet of paper. So we're going to get a pair of scissors and we're going to cut this portrait out. So you're going to use your best scissors skills and cut around. Okay. And the reason why we use oil pastel is that I love the line. You get this lovely broad chunky line and if you look at the size of this portrait I've used the paper to its full capacity as well. So I haven't done a very small tiny tiny head that's floating around you know on this large piece of paper. I've made sure that I've filled the paper up so I've got a great portrait. Now we don't need that. We're going to discard that, recycle that. You're going to go up to the paper tower and you're going to pick the piece of paper that you like. I'm going to go with green. Again, we're going to stick it down. And the final thing is we're going to go back to the oil pastel again. And I'm going to give you a handout that's going to show you lots of funny eyes, nose, mouth. And you're going to draw your eyes, your nose, your mouth. Or you can use the examples. So if I just show you here, if I want to draw, I'm going to do an eyelid looks like a butterfly and then I'm going to curl around like that so if you see what I did and do another curl there and just color that in I've got an eyeball and if I want to do something else that's kind of funny I could do one that's looking at me do a spiral and then curve it curve it and I could do lovely eyelashes like that and a nose, I do a triangular nose that looks like a pizza and put the nostrils going in different directions and then whatever way you want to do your mouth again it can be 
another triangle with zips like that. So I've got two eyes, a nose and a mouth. What I'm going to do, I'll cut those out and I've already done some earlier. I'm going to make sure he's flat. I'm going to put his nose on. Now if you like the nose that you've got, you don't have to do this. But I'm just going to set it so you can see what I'm doing. All right, I'll make that eye go that way and that eye. No, I'm going to do it the other way because this one's looking this way. So you see what I'm doing? He's looking that way. Yeah, I'm going to do it that way. Do you see I'm playing around? Maybe he's looking down like that. Ooh, I like that. And then I did a funny mouth. I could do it that way. Yeah, looks like a moustache mouth. And there you go, boys and girls. I'm going to glue that down. If I want, I can still add some extra colour with my paints and colour in those features, or you can leave them striking with the contrast of black and white. That is your choice now, boys and girls. You are the artist. So now it's your turn. Let's go make a Pablo Picasso Cubist portrait.